So as you can see here, uh, I um, have given uh, this title to my presentation, the role of observation in case taking, because uh, you are already at the end of this six months course. So I am very sure that all of you um, know a lot. <laughs> I mean, everything about homeopathy. So for me uh, to present something new for you, uh, it is a kind of challenge. So that is why I will present today to you a few cases of mine. But this case has a, a common uh, feature. And uh, I would like to show to you how the observation helped me uh, in uh, uh, solving these cases. So... Uh, Let's see. Uh, Dr. Srishti uh, already presented myself, so I will not uh, spend more time with this. Uh, I will uh, start with the, uh, in this very simplistic way, as we know that in order to um, cure a, a case, we need the right remedy. But to have the right remedy, uh, we need the proper case taking, a good repertorization, and also the materia medica references. As you can see here, I uh, emphasized on the case taking because, uh, as we all know, uh, this is uh, very important to have a proper and deep enough case taking in order to find the right remedy. Now, um, as uh, Dr. Samuel Hahnemann has written on the organon in the aphorism 84, the physician sees, hears, and remarks by his other senses what there is of an altered or unusual character about him. He writes down accurately all that the patient and his friends have told him in the very expression used by them. So as we can see here, Hahnemann advised us very beautifully how we should take the case taking. And here we can see already that how important are the observations. So I... Uh, if I put the questions that a question that what uh, we should observe uh, during the case taking, the answer would be very easy because we should observe everything. So we have to observe the patient behavior, how he used to sit down, how he used to speak, the gestures, the language, the way of speaking, the content, the topics. Also, we have to observe the emotions expressed by the patients, the colors weared by patients, the clothes, the makeup, the jewelry, and the overall impression. And of course, we have to take uh, in consideration all the time what, which is the pathology, the location, appearance, colors, smell, etc. And why is this important? Because uh, the patient usually, uh, most of the patients are coming to us uh, because of their physical pathology. But as we all know uh, very well, uh, all, all the time there is also an underlying um, mental emotional uh, pathology or mental emotional suffering. And it depends only on the ability of the homeopath how uh, we, can, uh, we will be able or not to find out uh, about these uh, mental and emotional symptoms of the patient. So um, I will start with my first case, uh, which was a, a case of superative varicose ulcer uh, on left leg resistant to allopathic treatment in a 69 years old woman. And uh, you already uh, must have seen uh, how the ulcer looks like. You can see here. And uh, also, uh, I sent to you my observation that uh, it, she had a very bizarre clothing. She wore the long, dirty black dress, a very, had a very intense makeup, a big black braid in her hair. And according to my culture, people used to wear this black all over, usually when they, uh, after they lost someone, so when they mourn. Uh, so this patient uh, somehow showed eccentrically how she mourns. And... Um, I asked her that what are the other complaints of her and I asked her to tell me more about herself and she um, answered me that no, I have no other complaints, I have nothing to tell about myself. So I put uh, the question to you that how would you go further with the case taking in this kind of case? What would you ask uh, further the patient? And now I will uh, wait a little bit uh, 
for your answers um, in chat, please. Uh, if uh, would you like to uh, write something, your comment, how would you go further with uh, this kind of case when a patient uh, is a little bit resistant to answer you? So uh, yes, exactly. Um, yes, uh, here uh, was this question which I asked her that uh, tell me uh, what has happened in your life, uh, how that you are uh, wearing this black cloth. <laughs> so, and this question helped me uh, based on the observation to open up uh, this patient. So after I asked uh, this uh, question, the patient, I find out her uh, case history that 20 years before her daughter uh, who was pregnant with the second child, uh, died in a car accident, which was a big loss for her, and she had never recovered from that pain of loss. She had to raise her first granddaughter of nine years old at that time. She cried a lot, was sleeping in house, surrounded with dogs. She could not communicate with anybody. And five years after the death of her daughter, the varicose ulcer developed on both legs. She also has a hyper, uh, high blood pressure treated with uh, allopathic medicine. About her temperament, she said that she was very optimistic before the tragedy. He, she said desire for amusement because she was singer in a folkloric ensemble and used to sing at parties. And now she missed those times. She played the key roles there. Her nickname was fucking bitch and she speaks a lot about this aspect. She also said, I'm a mad because she lives with 12 cats now, but before she lived with 22 cats. She likes jewelry, talks about herself in a laudative manner. She speaks a lot, jumping from one subject to another, difficult to follow. And she is also very attached to her family members and very materialistic. About her nature, she has a very secretive nature because nobody saw her leg. And in fact, that is why she was wearing that long black dress. She cared for her mother many years and this was for her a drama. So she started to uh, drink daily to can cope with her responsibilities uh, like the diapers changing. From her heteroanamnistic data from her sister, I find out that she used to drink since many years daily at home. Her house is a whole mess with so many cats everywhere and she don't use to wash herself because uh, she never wash her feet because uh, she had this delusion that is not, too good, um, uh, is not good to put water on her ulcers. She also had fear from snakes and snakes from reptile in general. She presented also sleeplessness. Her sleep position was on the right side and about her physical generals, she presented heat flushes, she was warm blooded ameliorated by cold, she presented thirstlessness. Regarding her uh, desire for food, uh, she liked the cheese and eggs and tomato, had a version for bread and potato. She presented frequent urination in the night, and she was operated for uterine fibroids many years ago, but nobody from her family, not even her husband, knows about her illness. So here we also have a suggestion which reflect how secretive uh, her nature is. She also presented perspiration on the neck and does not tolerate anything around her neck. So um, yes, uh, now I showed you, but uh, um, if do you want to suggest the remedy because the case is quite easy, I'm sure that yes, all of you know, uh, it is very, uh, very easy. So. Uh, I analyze the case like this. Uh, on the mental emotional level, we have uh, the ailments from grief, her secretive nature and the uh, desire for amusement. As her behavior uh, or as coping mechanism is this drinking daily and the 12 cats. And as per uh, her physical pathology, we have the superative varicose ulcer on the left leg. So um, the mayas uh, should be uh, about syphilis, uh, the remedy should belong to the syphilitic mayas because we can see this destructiveness at each and every level. First is the devastation from grief. The second is the alcohol consumption, which is also destructive behavior. We have also this psychotic kind of reaction, having so many cats in her house and this very bizarre clothing. And also the physical pathology, the ulcer reflects this destructiveness. 
So as Rumi had written that as water reflects the stars and the moon, the body reflects the mind and the soul. So when we have this kind of pathology at a physical level, each and every time the problem should be there also on emotional, mental, emotional level also. And now if uh, I make the sectorial repertorization of the, her mind symptoms, taking in consideration the ailments from grief, the desire for amusement, um, her haughtiness, her loquacity, jumping from one subject to another, uh, her alcoholism and the fear of snakes, uh, we got the remedy lacuses. And also from the sectorial repertorization of her physical symptoms, we got the same uh, remedy. Now, as you can see, we have here a single remedy rubric. So practically, that suggestion that uh, we should uh, analyze uh, um, just the physical pathology was also correct, because yes, if uh, we take this uh, rubric, uh, extremities, ulcer, legs, chronic, indolent, flat with purple skin, so the remedy is also lacuses. So in fact, uh, yes, there are different approaches and different possibilities how we can approach a case. But usually, um, I used to go deeper because I observed that uh, if I have uh, time enough uh, exploring deeper a case, it helped also the patients because uh, it helped the patient um, to have uh, many um, awareness about her problem. And on the other side, it helped also, it, it helped the homeopaths also, also taking the case deeper because um, the confirmation of the remedy we can have from different direction, as you can see here. And uh, here you can uh, see the result uh, after fix, uh, five weeks, uh, just five weeks of homeopathic treatment, uh, the ulcer, um, the evolution of the ulcer was beautifully. At the end of September, the ulcer healed, and she, uh, which was also meant, uh, very important that she stopped drinking. Uh, now, uh, about the confirmation of the materia medica about lacazis, in the reliable reverse repertory, you can read about this alcoholism, uh, ailments from dipsomania, which is typical for lacazis. In the Mirilis thematic materia medica, we can find exactly this, that ailments from death of a child. And from the FATAC uh, materia medica, we can confirm the physical pathology. Uh, from the Murphy's Nature Materia Medica, we can uh, confirm also that the indication for lacazis are alcoholism, the high blood pressure, the heart disorders, um, the ulcers, so all uh, these she presented. And I would like to summarize this case with this quote from Dr. Gabor Mate, who had written that in all cases of addiction that I have seen, there is deep pain that comes out of trauma. The addiction is the person's unconscious attempt to escape from the pain. So when we have a person who uh, present different addiction, it is very important to go deeper and to see which is exactly the cause of this addiction. Uh, and why is this important? Because we, with homeopathy, we can help beautifully these patients because uh, only, uh, or maybe not only, but in homeopathy, we have this possibility to um, uh, find the remedy, um, taking in consideration also this uh, very deep emotional cause.